Last week was the much looked forward to contest, which saw the contestants together in one place for the strength in numbers task. Judges shared their feedback and appointed red team as winner. All hope is not lost for team yellow and team white though, as the judges have given them one more chance to prove their potential as prospective street food kings. Street Foods Ninja is brought to you by Food Bay TV, powered by Devon Kings, refreshed by Pink Yogurt, and supported by Tiger Beer, Indulge Rentals, and Super Commando. The journey has begun, and the contestants have been put to battle head to head. Last week's challenge saw three contestants move over to the next stage. A hearty congratulations to them. We're currently at the Hospitality Business School Kitchens, which is where the next elimination task will hold. Thanks to the wonderful HBS team. So today, we decide and determine what becomes of the other six. Last week was quite disappointing, but it's a new week. We have the two teams who are back. I'm excited to see what they're going to do. Hopefully, they've taken some of our feedback from last week. So it's game time. Team White and Team Yellow, you guys really have to go and battle it out there together. We expect you to really come up with something nice. Work as a team. Teamwork is essential. It is key. It is crucial. After so much lesson learned from last week, I mean, we've actually taken a lot into consideration and then we're back together. Right, guys? Team Mike. Yeah, Team Mike. So we actually named ourselves so that we can have this unity, M-I-C, Team Mike. At this point, we have to look for something very different that can get the attention of the judges. This stage is really, is actually tougher than the first stage. Like when we are all together, one team has to leave. Still to come. In my hand here, I have the card that contains the color of the winner. The winner of this round is Hi contestants, using key learnings from your last failed task, go on to create a street foods meal and a dessert that will appeal to an international audience. You have 90 minutes and a mystery basket to work, clean and plate. And if I were you, I'd spend 45 minutes trying to sharpen that cutlass to take down that tree. Remember, this is a battle for survival. One team goes home today. May the odds be in your flavor. Your time starts now. Well, well, well. I see you guys are taking my advice about sharpening that cutlass. Failing to plan could be planning to fail. Both teams seem to have taken show host Elozonan's advice to heart. Take talk. This is an opportunity for us to give it our best shot. The only chance we have to make it to the next round, and we are going to be there. I trust my team. Team White seem to be big on teamwork. OK, so I'm happy now because clearly they listened to us last week. They all have their hair covered. They are wearing proper shoes. When they started, they immediately all washed their hands. With the new system on ground, the planning and then the idea to work as a team has actually worked out because, I mean, I'm enjoying cooking with my guys and everyone is just at his duty post. I'm holding people responsible for if anything is going on, I know who to hold and everything is working smoothly. Team Yellow 3 chefs have some individual and unique strengths. I'm very worried about this grated yam situation because when you grate yam too thin and you fry it, it gets kind of bitter. You have now spent 45 minutes. You have 45 minutes remaining. Oh, 
last week we didn't really know much about each other but now this week we've actually studied our strengths so we used our strengths to come back into the game while we gave the pomosos to chop matato and we gave the desserts to ibot to take care of while the max cafe and do the rest of the cooking going to see what they were doing I was not very impressed these guys are not they're not able to think outside the box it's like they don't have the ability to think beyond a certain threshold you have 15 minutes left 15 minutes remaining chop chop contestants you have five minutes remaining Five minutes remaining. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Time up. The contestants have now retired to the waiting area as the judges prep to receive them and decide their fate. In the place before you, we have the locally uh, me that we're going. This yams go in there. I wanted to just, you know, <laughs> toss the food out. I'm like, you know, you guys do something. And then, of course, their sweet treat, they just blended pineapple. Guys, this was so disappointing. It's very disappointing to me that they were more creative last week than they were this week. We actually thought we had our best. White team, I'm very presently impressed because that their grated yam situation that they fried together made kind of like a, not a hash brown. I don't even know what it was, but it was really, really good. This time around, the feedback from the judges were encouraging. It's time to declare our winner. The winner of this round is... The white team. I feel excited, I feel ecstatic, I feel over the moon, I feel relaxed. I feel relieved! In a turn of events, one of you from the yellow team is going to be saved. And that person is... Chef Mac. No! Thank you, the judges, for saving me. Whatever the consideration must have been, I really appreciate. And it was a nice experience to have worked with Ibot Desert. It was a nice experience to have worked with Chop Mata. I mean, I really enjoyed your sauce. That's it on our show today. Very intense and very, very interesting. Sadly, two contestants have had to leave the game, leaving seven out of the original 13. Now, what happens next? Tune in next week to find out. Street Food Naja Season 2 is proudly brought to you by Food Bay TV, powered by Devon Kings, and refreshed by Peak Yogurt. My name is Ilusanam. Do have a fantastic week. I know!